Hi, I'm Patty, and I'm a Sacramento County Master Gardener. Red wiggler worms make compost that's great for your plants. Worm bins are fun to make, and I'm going to show you how. Vermiculture, or vermicomposting, is the process of growing worms to produce high-quality castings or compost for your garden. Worm compost has nitrogen that won't burn the plants. There are five steps to making a worm bin. A box, bedding, worms, food, and harvesting. Here's some of the materials you need to make a worm bin. First, a drill with a quarter inch bit, some black plastic, a towel, something to prop. I use wood or bricks, newspaper, some bedding, and then a box or container. Worm boxes can be made out of a lot of different things. You can use untreated wood or buy a plastic container. It shouldn't be more than a foot deep, um, and you can't you have to make sure it's not see-through. So the first step is to drill holes for aeration and drainage. Don't forget your safety goggles. The bin needs to be elevated for help with drainage. So if it's outdoors, you just put it on some wood or bricks. If it's indoors, you want to put it in a tray so the tray will catch all the drips. Before you add the bedding, we add newspaper. And today we're using wood and pine shavings. You can also use um, newspaper, cardboard, core, leaves. Then we wet it. We use red wigglers, which can be found at a fishing supply store. You just need a few to start. We use the small red wigglers who live in the leaf litter, an environment similar to our pine and fir bedding. Don't use earthworms or night crawlers that live deep in the soil. They will make a fast exit from your worm bin. Worms love fruits and vegetables, eggshells, used tea bags, used coffee grounds, and filters. You can feed them once a week or less often if you're on a vacation. Do not feed them animal products, dairy, onions, processed food, or citrus peels. Cover the food with at least two to three inches of bedding. Rotate where you place the food. One handful of garden soil or ground up eggshells can be added to give grit, which helps the worms in digestion. If you want to speed up the compressing process, you can chop up the food this would be a great idea for the first or second time you feed them. Now that you've fed the worms, it's time to cover them with black plastic to keep in the moisture. Then you put a towel that keeps them cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Make sure the top securely fastened and you place it on your wooden blocks in the shade. The castings are ready when it's dark like coffee grounds and fine in texture. Move the dark castings to one side and add new bedding and food to the open spot. Leave the dark section uncovered. The worms will move out of the light. Then you can harvest. Check out my next video on harvesting worm compost. Wasn't this easy? Don't let me have all the fun. The worms do all the work and your plants will thank you.